Hey, what's up YouTube? It's your boy back once again. I'm going to go ahead and do a video on how to root your T-Mobile Sony Xperia Z. The model number is going to be uh, C6606. And this is my Sony Xperia Z. It's already rooted. Um, there it is right there. You see the model number? Alright, so um, to do this, it's, it's two simple steps. Um, first off, what you're going to want to do is go down to your Sony Xperia Z. And what you're gonna do, um, it's you know you don't have to unlock the bootloader or anything like that. So just follow these steps accordingly to how I you know explain them, and you will be rooted. So um, we're gonna go ahead. The first thing that you want to do um, is you're gonna go to your phone. You're gonna go to settings. You're gonna go all the way down to developer options. You're gonna turn the developer options on, and then you're gonna click USB debugging. Okay, that's the first step. The second step is to go ahead and go back up to your display and you want to keep your screen on for 10 minutes okay select the 10 minute uh, selection right there and once you do that we're gonna go ahead and go back to the computer now um, there's gonna be two files that you're gonna download the first one is gonna be and I just named this folder root file right here um, it's that's what I did um, you can do that if you want I just like to keep it in order so um, this is going to be what you're going to want to download. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on it a little bit. It's called Doom Lord Easy Root Tool. Um, and it's not that big of a file at all. Um, I think it's a couple megabytes or something. But you're going to go ahead and right click on that. And my computer is being slow. And you're going to uh, unzip this file. You're going to extract the files where you, you, know, where you want them. Um, you know, I choose to do it in a separate folder. I would do it in a separate folder just to keep them all together. Okay, so once you do that, you're going to get all of these files here. Now, you're going to get um, four different files except for the one that you unzipped it from. Um, and what you're going to want to do next, after you unzip that folder, um, you're going to use only this one here, the Run Me WinBat. Um, you're just going to use that one. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and go to go to my computer here, and I'm gonna go ahead and plug my uh, Sony Xperia Z um, up to the computer. Now, if you don't have the drivers installed, um, you can find the drivers online. Um, but that's what I did. I don't really have a specific um, website where I get the drivers from. I just found it on Google, so you can do that. Now, the important thing is is that whenever it says uh, PC uh, software uh, companion software you're gonna skip that okay now once you have your drivers installed and everything for your Sony Xperia Z I'm gonna go back to the computer you wanna make sure that um, your computer reads that your phone is connected so it's reading that my phone is connected I'm just gonna go ahead and cancel that because I don't need that then simply you're gonna run this the run me bat okay it's gonna bring up the command prompt and what's going to happen is um, it's going to ask you, um, you know, what choice you want to you want to do. So um, you're going to choose number one to root your device. OK, you're going to choose number one. You're going to put in number one. It's going to say waiting for device. Um, now, once it's done, it's, it might say the Damien's not starting, but it's going to start anyway. Um, it's going to go through the process. And now it's going to go through the process and I'm, I'm just going to click out of it because I already rooted my phone. But the directions are right there in the, uh, the command prompt. So you're just going to go through the directions in the command prompt. Once it's done, it's going to say install correctly or something like that. And then it's going to be it's going to restart your phone. And then once it restarts and everything. Um, you're going to have the super user app. Let's go back to my phone. Once it's done, you can actually go through and see that you have super user installed. Now, if in case during the process, your phone just like it just stops and it seems like it's not doing anything after two or three minutes, unplug it and plug it back again. Because it, as long as your, your computer is reading that your phone's connected, you shouldn't have a problem. Okay. So after that's done, your phone reboots, you have, um, your root installer or your root installed and everything super user then you want to go to the market 
and I already downloaded this app here um, root checker where is it at where is it at uh, let me see hold on here it is um, actually no it's not it where is it where is it come on where you at um, where's my root checker hold on there it is so you can download any root checker you want um, and you're just gonna go ahead and verify your root access It's gonna say congratulations yay um, like I said so the first step is just plug your phone in make sure it's connected make sure your phone and your computer are communicating um, and then just simply follow the instructions on the command prompt that's it once your phone reboots the super user will uh, be installed you will be rooted um, now the second step in um, actually um, installing clockwork mod recovery you're gonna need this other tool here um, it's another file and it's this one right here this is for locked bootloaders and I'm gonna put a, um, a link two links in the description um, the first one is gonna be the actual run me bat that's gonna actually root the phone the second one I'm gonna put in the description is the clockwork mod lock bootloader 7 zip file so you're just gonna do like you did the first one you're gonna unzip it unzip here or extract here and you're gonna get a few files um, once it's done uh, you're gonna get this folder here you're gonna click on that um, and you know keep your phone plugged in when your phone's plugged in and I'm gonna actually unplug mine here I'm gonna unplug mine because I don't want to do it again and run the risk of me breaking my phone but same thing exact same thing as the first step you're gonna simply click on it and it's gonna recognize your phone and it's gonna give you the instructions right there on the screen um, so it's gonna say if you know whatever it may say um, it's gonna start the daemon um, it's gonna go through the steps and it's a very pretty painless process um, but it's simple you just plug your phone in say what it you know say what you need s do what you need on the screen um, in the command prompt follow the instructions and there you go and I'm gonna show you how to so okay after your phone is done um, and your phone is actually gonna reboot after you install the clockwork recovery on the phone your phone's gonna reboot and when your phone reboots so I'm gonna turn my phone off to demonstrate what it's gonna do so your phone's gonna reboot it's gonna turn off okay and when it reboots it should go in a clockwork mod recovery like off you know just it should go on clockwork recovery automatically um, but if it doesn't um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn your phone on okay now when your phone turns on you're gonna see the green light once you see the green light at the top right hand corner you're gonna press and hold the up volume key you're gonna keep pressing it until it turns purple and don't let it go and then it's gonna go into clockwork mod recovery and then you can proceed in backing up your stock ROM um, there are no ROMs currently for this phone I would not install a custom ROM um, no matter how stable they say it is because I actually messed my phone up doing that but I fixed it but I do not recommend you doing that so I'm just gonna restart it now once you root it and everything um, in clockwork mods uh, installed there's gonna be a couple apps that you're gonna want to download from the market um, one is gonna be titanium backup and if you look on my screen here um, on my phone I actually put a custom boot animation on there which is the Galaxy S3 um, you're just gonna be a couple um, apps you're gonna need to download from the App Store uh, the first one is gonna be titanium backup I highly recommend that you get the paid version pay for it um, just gonna unlock my phone here so you're gonna get titanium backup now titanium backup what is what it's gonna do is delete you can go through there and you can delete all of the system apps that have carrier IQ and all that good stuff so carrier IQ is not hard to find if you're rooted so you're just gonna go down to where it says IQ 
going to go all the way down and you're going to find is all categorized where it says carrier IQ and what you're going to do see right here so these three apps right here are carrier IQ apps those three okay what I do I make a backup I press backup once it's backed up your phone may reboot if your phone reboots just let it do its thing so anytime that you uninstall a uh, stock app that's default to the phone it's gonna reboot don't freak out it's just gonna reboot so after it reboots and everything um, you can either freeze it or you can uninstall it I personally uninstall the app so it will be all the way off the phone completely so you're gonna uninstall you're gonna hit uninstall I already did mine and it's gonna uninstall it it may reboot again again let it do its thing so you're gonna back it up first and then you're gonna uninstall it you're gonna uninstall these three apps right here this is carrier IQ these three apps when you see the little uh, magenta um, uh, wheel right there uh, those are carrier IQ apps and you can see all the other apps that I actually disabled you know Wi-Fi calling I don't need it I don't use it um, social networking engine photos all that stuff I don't need that I don't like that I don't use it um, tethering entitlement that's for um, that actually checks to see if you have tethering on your plan that's a whole nother story but go through there and just you know just see what apps that you, see what apps you don't want and simply um, in titanium backup simply uninstall them okay um, the second app that you're gonna want to download um, is gonna be and this is by choice also um, I highly recommend buying the full version of boot animations this is how you're gonna be able to change your boot animation to pretty much whatever you want I mean we have I mean like a hundred or you know one to two hundred different boot animations um, if you want to do cyanogen mod if you want to do you know the droid eye or the dancing man or whatever you want to do so once you buy this app and it is worth every penny um, you're just gonna find one you like just say this one and you can preview it if you want to it's gonna download it with T-Mobile's awesome LTE network it's gonna go ahead and download it once it downloads you can preview it and you know you can um, Let's see there it is so yeah so that's one of them now what I highly recommend is that anything that you um, replace or uninstall make a backup make a backup so um, if you just go right here you're gonna do backup and restore make a backup of your stock um, boot animation and then once you make a backup you can go ahead and you know okay so once you um, you know get ready to put your boot animation just back it up choose one and then install it and it might reboot reboot um, I'm just gonna show you install You're just gonna install that once it installs then um, it's gonna reboot and then your beautiful new boot animation will uh, show up I'm just gonna get some of these uh, smudges off my screen here All right, all right. Here we go. So, back uh, to the Sony screen. It's rebooting, and you should see the new boot animation that I just put on there. There it is. So we have a lot of boot animations that you can choose from. Um, let's see. Another app that I highly recommend for maybe changing the font. Now, the the entire font will not be changed to the phone, but. Um, gonna put in my code but you do have the option to like change the font in your um, in your browser you can change the font in your browser if you want to as you can see I changed my font here it's gonna get rid of that close all tabs so we can go Google and as you can see, some of my font is, is different. Um, I use this app here. It's called My Font, and it has a lot of different fonts you can use to, you know, personalize it to your liking. You know, um, whatever you like. Uh, let's see. Another app that I use for Root is going to be Carrier IQ, of course. But once you uninstall those apps, guess what? You're not going to have Carrier IQ. Simple. Um, another way to check 
or to disable 